Hi, in this lesson I'm going to demonstrate how to do the forward and backward pass when you have finish to start lags and a start to start lag. So we begin as we do with all networks with a zero for the first activity as the early start. And A takes two days, so it's going to be done the earliest on the second day. Now B can't start until five days after the completion of A. So now we add that 5 to the 2, and the earliest, earliest B can start then is the seventh day. Again, when we go forward, we're always adding and choosing the larger number. 7 plus 4 is 11. Pass 11 up here. 11 plus 5 is 16. And then here we've got a start-to-start -start lag. C can't start until three days after the start of B. The earliest B can be started is on the seventh day. Three days after that would be 10. 7 plus 3 is 10. C takes three days, so the earliest e C can be finished is 13. Now we have a merge activity with E. We're going forward, so we always choose the larger number, which is 16 in this case. 16 minus 2, plus 2, I should say, is 18. Then we do the backward pass, subtracting and choosing the smaller number. 2 minus 18 is 16. 16 and 3 minus 16 is 13. 16 up here. 5 minus 16 is 11. And that 11 comes down here. Now we have a choice with this start to start lag. 4 minus 11 is 7. 3 minus 13 is 10. So remember when we go backwards, we choose a smaller number. So we choose the number 7, not 10. And then we have to subtract that lag from this 7. And that's 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. And then we can go ahead and calculate the slack by subtracting. And we get 0 here and 0 here and zero up here. Here we've got slack, and here we've got zeros. And so we would trace the critical path this way. So the same principle applies. Going forward, add, choose the larger number. Going backwards, subtract and choose the smaller number. But this time we either, we've got to take into account the two lags in our calculations.